what is up guys it's Derplap here with another video doing a live reaction with the chat as you guys can see there's some content that we have missed we have missed the the god of war trailer i meant to react to that yesterday some things happened i didn't get the chance to we're gonna do some god of war gameplay or but yeah we're gonna see what that god of war trailer is i'm hoping there's gameplay in it and if there isn't i mean i guess we just know more about the game but other than that we're gonna be playing some tower of fancy after this so make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new here i try hard to get these videos out guys you have no idea so let's get into it wait let me record some <laughs> i almost forgot i'm only looking down on the game for it it will pass so all things too in the meantime, how about a story while we warm by the fire? Man, her smile was kind of creepy. Oh, filthy spies. That old man sees more now than he did when he had both eyes. I think I have this a little bit low. Let me turn it down a bit. Ah, one of my favorites. It's a story of adventure. A father and son working together to overcome insurmountable odds, setting in motion the greatest war the Nine Realms have ever seen. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. She's getting excited off talking about a war that just happened with father and son going through it. Jesus Christ, she got some issues, Bubba. Look at the way she's looking at my soul, guys. This is too much right now. Let's start from the it's beginning. It's 8.34, Bubba, on a Tuesday morning. There once Relax. There was a god from a far-off land who settled in Midgard, disguised as a man. He started a new life, had a wife and a boy. They were happy together. In peace, they found joy. His wife passed away. Kratos mourned with his son. But where one journey ended, a new had begun. Faye's final request, though it seemed rather bleak, spread my ashes atop the Nine Realms' tallest... Okay, if you guys didn't know, this is the main story for the first game. Peak. This is As what it seems like they're just kind of recapping you on what's happened. A stranger accosted them in their homestead. Baldur sought answers. Accosted them. That, I bet accosted means accused, but we're going to find out definitively. Uh, approach and address someone boldly or aggressively. Well, I was way off the mark, guys. My bad. Odin's hand. Kratos gave none to the Aesir firebrand. They made way for the mountains. Kratos taught the boy skills, keeping godhood a secret, but training to kill. Gods were always in danger, this Kratos knew, but secrets, he'd learn, could harm the boy too. They found Mimir in a tree, punishment for his wrongs. So they lopped off his head and they brought him along. Mimir held ancient wisdom and knew the lost god of war. He warned, tell the boy but kratos ignored wow kratos are you serious what is wrong with you all you have to do is tell him no no now hold on a minute is that all that's in there about me something to add actually yes i do you see odin in all of his dreadfully paranoid wisdom trapped me in that bloody tree for perceived wrongs and I led quite the colorful life before he Wow. Went to it all started when I was just a lad in the service of a great fairy king. Riveting stuff, really. Bruh, why is she doing that? He. They should just make this a series, bruh. You can make it a game and you can make it a series. I play the game and watch the series when I don't want to play the game. Watch the series, then I want to play the game again. Just make it, make it a show. That later. No, don't turn the page. I wasn't if Mimir were telling the story, we'd be here all day. Anyways, they met Freya, uh, masquerading as a witch in the woods. I guess. A god knows a god. Wait, wait, Freya, wait, sorry. Masquerading as a witch in the woods. Masquerading? That's parading, right? No, that's masquerading. How would you just try and do that, bro? <laughs> I literally just tried to put a different word on it. Pretend to be someone is not pretend to be someone is not pretend to be someone is not that's an interesting way to put it 
be disguised or passed off as something else. A god knows a god. She would aid where she could. She cautioned, you must tell your son he's divine. Dang. Kratos dismissed her. Kratos, that's the second time. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's crazy. He'd regret this in time. On the road, Baldur's allies, Thor's sons, attacked. Something snapped in Atreus as he tried to fight back. The Aesir lost the battle, but Atreus fell too. Kratos rushed him to Freya. She would know what to do. Freya was disheartened with the father's neglect, but with the heart of Hell's troll, she could save his son yet. Kratos thundered through Helheim and slew the great troll. He had captured its heart, but in his, burned a hole. He returned with his offering. Freya cast a keen spell, and Atreus was healed. Though, not all Guys, we might have to play this on the channel. Because I, I got it on PC, and I just haven't gotten the time to play it, or an excuse to play it on the channel. But this seems pretty nice. It may not be on the main channel. I may have to make another one. I don't know. It may just be a stream, rather than, you know, full videos. But we'll see. All was well. Kratos sat with his son, and for once, he was true. Revealing he was a god. And Atreus was, too. Delighted at first, it seemed all would go smoothly. Then arrogance followed and bent Atreus toward cruelty. With tensions flared, Baldur preyed on their discord, casting back into Helheim Kratos and his ward. In Helheim, they learned Freya caused Baldur's plight. His mother's ill-conceived curse robbed his life of all light. They mm. emerged from the realm as they neared journey's end. But Baldur appeared and attacked once again. Mm. Atreus and Kratos were ready this time, stronger together with their power combined. Freya intervened on behalf of her son, begging Baldur's forgiveness for all that she'd done. Baldur strangled his mother. Kratos lunged with a snap. Baldur slumped. Freya wailed. And he died in her lap. Something changed in the world. Snow started to fall. The dawn of Fimble Winter the dusk of it all atreus asked is this what it means to be gods killing our parents forever at odds no kratos bellowed as he dropped to one knee we will be the gods that we choose to be finally together they reached the great peak finding jotunheim's temple the giants retreat a prophetic mural showed the life they had led the boy's mother was giant, they learned as they read. Atreus walked to the cliffside. Kratos eyed the wall slowly. Beneath the boy's picture, a name was etched. Loki. They scattered her ashes and watched as they lifted. Over rolling red hills, the wind danced, and it drifted. Standing side by side, feeling hopeful and new, the boy was at peace. And the father was, too. With their promise fulfilled, they returned to their home. They trained day after day, lest they mm. eat what they'd sown. Damn. Atreus grew restless. Wary, Kratos remained. Ragnarok loomed as the great winter waned. Don't tell me you're thinking of stopping here. Things were just getting good. Well, I suppose we could go on a bit longer. Thank An you. Excellent idea. This is the most dramatic part. On second thought, perhaps we'd better cut it short. Shut up! Don't do- It seems that we are out of time. If you want to know how this story ends, I'm afraid you'll have to find out for yourself. Until then. That is a really good trailer. The 11th? November? Oh man, November? Dang. November is a crazy time, bro. 
November is a crazy time, bro. Mm -mm -mm. I'm copping that. I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm copping that. It is that simple. I'm copping that. 